In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a scimitar class patrol vessel as used by the British Royal Navy. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more warship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full playlist. Anyway guys, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on my flat world. So guys, I'll be building this one out of the water so I can show you guys exactly uh, well, where everything is. It's just so much clearer. Um, but if you guys are going to be building this out of the water, I'll also show you the dimensions and where it all sits. Um, this nice little handy box um, I've been using quite a bit and works quite well. Um, in total, guys, the ship is 17 blocks long. That includes the little fence gate gun that comes off the back. Otherwise, it'll be 16 blocks, which is 16 meters, which matches the ship. Um, so that's where it is on that. Um, it is seven blocks wide. That includes the bits of signs sticking out. The actual hull of the ship itself is five blocks wide. Uh, the real ship is actually like 3.1, something like that. Uh, it just didn't look right in Minecraft. It just didn't, so I had to change it. I had to, I had to add that extra block, and it just suddenly looked so much more realistic, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, seven blocks wide in total. Uh, but that includes the signs, so you've got to be aware of that. Uh, and it's also 13 blocks high, so you know, not, not massive, massive, but um, yeah, quite, you know, not too bad in terms of its actual height and that goes right to the top of the antenna that is actually got there so if you guys are going to be building this one underneath the water the first two layers are underwater the first layer is actually uh, some slabs and some stairs um, but that means it will be at this level um, so it's got quite a few blocks sticking out you can if you wanted to actually put the water up onto this level um, it's up to you guys whatever you think looks best in the end um, you know that's the a way to look at it um but i wanted at least you know one solid piece of gray and then you've got this little another bit of gray with some detailing on it to be sticking out uh, from the water so if you are doing that you have your water you have a block right next to it go down one block like that and this is where your first level is so all of this down here is your first level uh, that's where things are going on um like that really i mean there's nothing really too much else to it oh yeah it's changed it all to concrete <laughs> I was thinking like this is all going a lot darker. I just hadn't thought about that. But anyway, um, let's get into the actual tutorial of this one. So for layer number one, if you're building it out of the water, then um, cool. Um, <laughs> this box will kind of help. Um, if you are building it in the water, that doesn't really matter so much. But what you need to do is find the middle of your box. So if you've got seven blocks going across, you know it'll be the fourth block, which will be your middle. From here, we're going to go back a total of seven blocks. So we've already got one, three, actually it's five blocks in total, not seven. I don't know why I said seven. Bizarre. Um, but yeah, five blocks in total. Uh, from here, we are going to grab some red never brick slabs. And we're going to go back with them on the upper piece, going back ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to need a block just in the middle of them like that. We're going to have an upside down red never brick stair. And another one, these are the two rudders that are on this, and we're going to have two dark oak fence gates coming off of this. These are the actual propellers, propellers even. Um, you could do something like this, you know, where you have those as propellers. I just ended up going with like two straight lines instead, uh, going straight to the rudders. That's just what I thought looked good. Um, but that's it for layer number one. So for layer number two, what we're going to do is we're going to need to grab some red concrete. You can, if you want to, do it all out of the uh, red never brick. Um, no problem at all. I just decided to go with concrete and just use the closest color slabs that we've got. Um, but for this, what we do is place a block directly on top of the last layer here uh, with your red concrete and go forwards with two blocks. We can actually get rid of these orange ones that I've got around the edge of mine. So we go, we've got those going forwards with three blocks. We're then going to have a slab right on the front of this one right here. On the side, leave this block, go to the next two, and we're going to have two slabs on either side of that. Do the same on the other side. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to have four blocks going behind this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Then switch over to your slabs. And where we've got... Um, so leave a block, go to the next one, have upper slabs, three of them on these bits here. Switch over to your stairs, and we're going to have four upside down stairs so one two three and four like that uh, now what we are going to have to do is fill this in as well so forget about that bit uh, like that right at the back we're going to have just two blocks on top of this 
and that's going to go all the way around and over the back of this, just like that. And then we'll fill in this one, like that there as well. So we can do the same here. So leave this block. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to have four upside down stairs. One, two, three, and four, like that. And that will give us what we've got. Now you can, if you wanted to, put in slabs in here. It's kind of up to you. Depends on what you find more useful. As I'll show you guys. The interior is pretty small, um, and because of the way where the deck is, it kind of gets in the way. This at least allows you to put things on this like a shelf. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could of course switch these out for stairs if you wanted to make it uh, stairs. Well, you can put stairs in, you can put stairs in, or you can put slabs in. Um, it'll make it look bigger, but it might be less usable. So it's up to you guys what you want to do with the actual design of yours on the inside. But uh, for me, it's always blocks because I can put stuff on blocks and it looks like a shelf. Uh, so that's what I go with, but that is it for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what we're going to do guys is we're going to need light grey concrete, stone slabs and stone stairs. So right on the front, place a block directly on top of the slab that you had last time. And we're going to have an upside down stone stair on the front of that one. What we're also going to do is place another piece of grey concrete, like a concrete one block back. And on either side of this we're going to have stone stairs upside down, like this. And we're going to have two blocks of light grey concrete behind them, so one, two, one and two, like that. Then either side of this is going to be a upper stone slab, so upper stone slab there, upper stone slab there. And now with our light grey concrete, nice and easy, we're just going to bring this on top of the last layer, all the way around, like this, just like that. And that is it for layer number three. And now for layer number four, what we're going to do, grab your light grey concrete and place that directly on top of the last layer. Go forwards with an upside down stone stair. We're going to place another piece of grey concrete just behind the last block there. We're going to have an upside down stone stair again. And another one on the other side. And we're going to have two blocks behind this of light grey concrete. One, two, two, like that. And you guessed it, upside down stone stair, either side of these like that. We're then going to have a straight strip of light grey concrete all the way to the back, except the last one. Leave the last one. So all but the last one to there. Now here we're going to have a blast furnace on either side. And then we're going to have stone stairs in the back, just normal like this. So these are the exhausts for the engines that we've got going on. And there's this like little shelf thing going on here um, on the back of it. So that's what that's what that is. Now, we're going to need some green terracotta because from some of the pictures, some of them, it looks like a grey kind of, um, a grey kind of um, a deck floor thing, um, which I would recommend using cyan terracotta for. But other pictures, I've seen it as being quite green looking, which is really odd to me. But um, out, of the, out of the majority of them, I keep on seeing it as green, unless it's been colour corrected, and then it seems to be grey. So, up to you guys what you want to do deck colour wise. If you guys know anyone that actually knows, let me know as well in the comments, that'd be really cool to know, um, like kind of definitively, what colour is, or does it change, you know, has it been painted a couple of times, that's why there's a discrepancy. Um, anyway, right, what we're going to do here is we're going to have two blocks right in the middle part of that, then one either side. Now, I'm going to be doing it where you get maximum hole space. Um, at the back, you're going to have three blocks, and that's going to be all the way, and then in the middle, you're going to have four blocks, one, two, three, and four which will be the actual kind of bridge part of it. That will then leave you with the rest of the blocks. It's up to you if you wanted to. You can have the deck going all the way around it, but it means you will not be able to get into the hold uh, part of the ship, which I've not found any interiors for at all with this ship. Um, I did try to have a look, so it's all just guesswork. Um, right, next what you're going to do is grab your spruce sign. Um, there is a black trim going all the way around this on the actual ship. Um, and also, it's got the name, so HMS Sabre, uh, and that's in red. So, with the black trim, the only real way that we can do this in Minecraft, um, without mods that is, uh, is to just, quite simply, grab a spruce sign, put a load of equals signs in there, and then go for that there. That's that's pretty much it. I've not really found anything else. How am I holding sand? How did I pick up sand? I have no idea. That is random. That's very random. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. Right, so I'm going to show you guys a quick way. If you have the mod called World Edit installed, then you can very quickly copy and paste this all the way over the ship. Uh, we're going to do all of it except, so we'll do it onto the uh, engine block. Uh, just leave this one here. So if you've got World Edit, 
this is a nice easy one. If not, you have to go around and just do it manually, which is fine. Uh, but if you have World Edit installed, which is mod, that you can get for uh, Java version of Minecraft, so any Java, you can actually use the REPL tool. It does recommend using tool REPL, but I haven't got used to that. Um, so REPL 1, uh, for example, is stone. You can then just click on that and it will copy the entire sign and you can just click it. Uh, now it is directional. So, oops. So because of that, we have to go across these. You can put the signs on the upside down stairs as well. Uh, I just wasn't as keen on the look of it. So that's why I didn't do that. Um, for the actual sign of the name, um, it's up to you guys what you want to call it. If it's, you know, if you're with the British Navy, it could be HMS something. Uh, we called this uh, sword. I don't know. It's one that doesn't exist. Um, now, when I had a look at this, I could see that it was red in color, but there is no reason why you have to go with red. You can go with whatever you want. So here my fictional ship, because there's two in the class, uh, which is scimitar and saber, um, which is why I've got saber over there, because I know it's a scimitar class. So I went with saber as the other name. Uh, that's why I've done that. Um, also, I have ended up doing it in capitals over here and not over here, but that doesn't really matter. So HMS sword or blade or something like that would do uh, quite nicely. Um, but they usually end up going with the, the same letter, starting letter, uh, if they can. But there we go, that will do that trim anyway. For all of that, that is it for layer number four. So next what we'll do is we'll get on to the details. Um, we'll probably end up doing the back details, one section. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we can just do it all in one go, really, um, for some of these. So we we'll, might as well just start it from now. Um, so first things first, we'll put in an anvil. This is for the actual chains for the anchor. Um, and that is not going to go there. That is in fact going to go on the first piece of green there. Uh, with iron bars, you're going to go around this. So sorry, survival players, for spending a lot of your iron. But go all the way to the back. You're actually going to be, uh, it looks like, yeah, two blocks from the back here. Let's grab a couple of extra blocks as well. Oh, it's all just those. Okay. Um, so we're just going to be on there. Let's grab that. That would do. So there we go. Two blocks from the back. It's going to be your iron bars like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a stone stair normal this way with a slab on top. We're going to have a slab on top of these little engine units. We're then going to have upside down stone stairs across the back here like this. And then you get a normal stair and then a slab. Then on this back piece, you're just going to have a slab here and a slab here. Um, and then we'll put a gun. So the gun, I've just gone with it being two fence gates. And then you get another fence gate at the back and you push that out. That then gives you the handles for the machine gun. Um, I think some of these have got two machine guns on. Um, but So you could end up you know, moving it over and just having it going on those two and just have a centerpiece or something like that. But there is this uh, kind of guard at the back of the ship. Um, so that they can actually, you know, don't get shot back. Um, right, then what you're going to do is with a spruce trapdoor is just put this on the outside of this. Uh, there's these like little boxes, I'm guessing they're like the life raft type things uh, that you get on ships, uh, but we'll just put those there with, uh, with yeah, fence, not fence gates, trapdoors for the time being. Cool. So that's then completed up all around the sides of the ship as well. Totally wasn't planning on doing that, but it will do. So the next part we'll do is this main superstructure part of it, uh, and then we'll be done. Okay, so for the main superstructure, uh, what we're going to do is, first things first, grab your stone slab, and just across this gap here, we're going to have three stone slabs going across there. Um, put in a spruce trap door. This is actually the way that the only way that I've actually got to get into the ship. Uh, it just kind of works, I guess. Um, you could put another one inside it as well, uh, because it's only blo one block. Um, long as you'll see, it is pretty small, so yeah. Grab your light grey concrete, put three blocks behind that, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add four more blocks onto the back of this. One, two, three, and four. And as you'll see, it fills up the gap, which is good. It means we've done it right. Um, we're going to have a block of neverite. You don't have to use neverite, just use a dark block uh, and put a stone button, normal stone button on those. Yeah, so if you guys are doing it in survival, don't use Neverite. I mean, that's horrendously expensive. It's just, when I was looking at the blocks, this one kind of looked like the thing. Same with, like, a um, anything else, really. You could use, I don't know, dark stone or um, some concrete powder, wh whatever you want, really. It's totally up to you. Uh, grab some glass blocks. We're going to have three glass blocks here. And then one on the front, three on the sides going back there. With your light grey concrete, what you're going to do is put the concrete going across the back here. 
then one here and one here. It's up to you guys. I actually ended up having a slab on the top of mine as well. Um, but it's up to you if you wanted to do that or not really. Um, so you can put a slab in here or you can have a full block. Uh, it doesn't really make much difference. I mean, look, it's just a little gap. It was just to try and make it look, or feel even a little bit bigger than it is. But it is a very small, very small little ship. Um, anyway, with your stone stairs, put these going across it like that. Then with your stone slabs, put those on top and put those on top of the glass as well. And that will complete the top part of it, which is all good. So now what we'll do is we'll get on to the next set of things. So we're going to grab a load of random blocks, or seemingly random blocks. Uh, scaffolding, which is the first time I've used it in a tutorial, by the way, guys. Uh, quartz slab, uh, also an end rod. Iron bars, we've got a flag as well. I'll leave a link in the description to a really good place where you can get some uh, command line um, using the command block flags. Uh, we're also going to need yeah, some dark oak fence and dark oak fence gate. And I think we've already got everything else except for the button, I guess. Yes, yeah, so we'll put the button on. Let's whack that there with the scaffolding. Place that right at the back, right in the middle, like that. And then we're going to have a quartz slab on top of it there, like that. Dark oak fence uh, gate, put that at the back, and this is so it looks like it's connecting into this. And then we're going to have one piece of fence on top of that, and then three pieces of iron bars on top of it. One, two, three, and that's going to be the main antenna on this one. So I'm quite happy with this, this kind of joining thing. It looks quite cool, I think. Uh, your end rod, whack that down. It's just as a different type of antenna, basically. And then we're going to have three iron bars on top of there, like that. I'm going to whack the flag on the back of that. If you guys uh, are doing it for another navy, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to a really cool website that has has loads of flags already done for you. Because because uh, I didn't come up with this one. I'm not even too sure if you can even make this one. I don't know. You guys will know better than me. Um, definitely. Right. So then the last one is to put in a dark oak fence gate here, and then an iron bar like that. Now finish that up. So there's only one more thing to do and that is because I've just had to get, go and try it um, to actually get an item frame but I'm actually gonna get an invisible item frame because we can do some cooler stuff with it um, so for that because I'm on a server I am gonna have to give myself a command block because um, it's just the way that it is um, but you should be able to do this command here so give uh, and this in this case is at self but if you don't have a command block do at P which is at the player um, item frame with the entity tag of invisible one. So that's what's going on there. Now, because I'm on a on a uh, spigot type server, uh, I have to do Minecraft dash or not dash, but uh, colon give. Otherwise, it won't work. But that command will give you an invisible item frame. Uh, if you just are on any of the other ones and you haven't got an invisible item frame, no worries at all. You can just use a normal item frame. I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. In fact, so we've got an invisible one, non-invisible one. Um, we're going to grab a black stained glass piece and we're also going to grab a sword and that's purely so that because it's like a skimitar class I'm going with a sword on it um, so that's what we're doing so if we've got the normal ones these will look like this and we're just gonna have a black stained glass piece on each of them like that uh, with the in oops, with the invisible one it goes on exactly the same it's just you can't see it how cool is that and I'm just gonna turn them in into each other so we've got these little bits here there's a couple just like little lights on the back from what I can see so that's what those are um, so on the sides you know you can have your sword if you just got it normally or as we're gonna go with the swords actually been an invisible item frame and it looks so cool I absolutely love the invisible item frames there we go and it just finishes it up a little bit um, for mine the only other detail I put is just scimitar class patrol ship um, purely because I will although this is the second one of these I've ever built and designed both by the way guys are totally different this one is way better <laughs> My original one when I was looking back at it uh, is horrendous. Um, but, you know, I will forget because I'd forgot between the Archer class and the Scimitar class what, what the difference was. Um, quite a bit, it seems. But, uh, you yeah, they're both quite small. But that, guys, is it. Um, I haven't got an interior for this one, like I said. If you guys do come up with an interior, make sure to click on my Discord and post some pictures in the modern chat. It'd be really cool to see what you guys come up with with this one. Um, and also, you know, like I said about the, the deck color, that'd be really interesting if anyone actually knows, because I definitely don't. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.